There are ghost stories, right? And there are scary stories. And the history of parentage is definitely the latter. But you gotta find it. In Oxenfree, what is able to pierce through the veil and touch different timelines are electromagnetic radio waves and frequencies. Okay, it's on. We believe that it would be really cool to keep messing with that and actually go back to the original game and have stuff that your enemies ultimately in the second game are doing. It's bleeding into this game right now. Fans of the original game may have been noticing that we've been sneaking in a lot of new strange little signals and frequencies into the original game. And these signals are coming from parentage. You can actually get a really clear peek into what the bad guys of the sequel are doing, why they're doing it, uh, and some of the troubles that they're having. I wrote it down. Hang on. I think I'm next. We're starting to hear more and more about what they might be up to. And it seems like it has something to do with harnessing the power of the portals to doing nefarious things with it. If you meet Parentage, you will probably be scared because they are some creepy, just ominous kind of mysterious. Not too many members left. Edgy and like scrappy. A group of weirdos. <laughs> They're the primary antagonists in the game. They're this group that is really looking to tap into the other side using radio tech. So that's what you're hearing on the radio in Oxy Free 1, the villains from the sequel. They're the ones wanting to change things, thinking that they're changing things for the better, but not realizing that, of course, their actions have ramifications, and these ramifications might just unmake the time-space continuum. 